Hello, my lovely, and welcome to my channel. Today, we're going to talk about the seven things no one had told you about the healing. And because no one had told you, I have to tell you. So stay in because you're going to be shocked a little bit. You'll be like, you're like, really? And I'm like, really? Really? So the things number one, you will cry a lot. And why is that? Because when you start to heal, a lot of trauma is coming up, a lot of things which need to be healed are coming up. So you're going to see yourself and find yourself constantly crying, crying for absolutely no reason. Plus, your hormonal level will be stabilizing because your diet. So it means you're going to be like, you know, in a hormonal kind of roller coaster until until it's stabilized so be prepared for that and many girls are starting the healing journey in so-called the dark uh, night of the soul which is mean in your lowest point and it's not permanent it's it's gonna pass but you, i want you to know that if you're crying and if you've got like bad days when when you just feel like emotional that's absolutely normal that's the part of the problem part of the uh, of all process it's not the problem so just expect that number two skeletons will fall off your closet <laughs> Seriously, all these things which you don't talk about with nobody, all those things you wanted to forget about, all those things you pretending they are not there, all the things you just pushing, pushing subconsciously, all of them will come up. Seriously. And when I start healing, I notice that it's like literally cue of my skeletons who are like waving to me and telling me, Yola, heal me, heal me, and me, and me, and me. So if you heal the one trauma, another one's gonna show up. And I want you to be prepared for that. <laughs> There's a lot of bloody skeletons in our closets, which we have to face. Number three, you will have to forgive. So if you've been going through your life, trying uh, to pretend that, you know, the people not getting to you and you don't care about them like I did, uh, girl, it's going to hit you like a ton of bricks because the time has will come that you will have to forgive. Forgive yourself for the mistakes you made uh, for uh, years that you neglected your body. The self-forgiveness is a big forgiveness. And you will have to forgive other people as well who treat you bad, who, who just contributed to your trauma. Forgiveness is not uh, easy and it's part of our healing journey. Every single time you cannot, I really believe that you cannot truly heal if you don't forgive. Okay, so number four, you will have to heal your inner child. And you might think like, what? That has to do with endometriosis. Everything, girl, everything. Do you remember my video when I told you that um, majority of the girls who experience uh, some kind of trauma in early childhood, they are more likely to develop endometriosis. So it's very likely you need to heal this inner child. So you're not going to escape this. You, you will have to just face it and you will have to heal it. You know, you have to uh, love this little girl. You have to provide all the emotional needs for this little girl you just have to be the best friend of this little girl <laughs> and it's beautiful journey it's absolutely beautiful journey and number five it will be emotional roller coaster as i mentioned uh, don't expect to have only good days you're gonna have uh, very good days you're gonna have very shitty days and the thing which i found out which helped me i just put all the days in my calendar and i put them in the different uh, colors so if i had like very good day i put it in the green color if i had the very bad i put it in red day in between i put it in orange try to do it and in the end just have a look and see how many good days did you have you will be surprised about the progress you are making but sometimes we just don't even see it so it's going to be emotional roller coaster and it's going to be emotional ride as well <laughs> just be prepared for that okay be prepared and uh, it never ends it never ends and you might think like yo this is not what i wanted to hear but sorry girl I, when I finished with my endometriosis and when I put it into remission, I found out that there are other things which need to be healed. And it's not just my physical things, but also emotional. So very likely when you 
finish with this endo story, you're going to find out you, yourself facing some other health challenges or some other emotional challenges would need to be healed. Guys, I really think that this life is never ending healing, seriously. And this is our life purpose, I think, to come to this world to heal ourselves, to heal each other, and then to heal the planet. I don't know if you agree with me or not. You know, this is hell of the work because healing process is not easy. It's emotionally draining for, for the person who's going through this. But it also have like this kind of a ripple effect which affecting not only you, but is affecting all the people around you, which means that when you heal, other people around you will start noticing this and will start healing. Like, for example, when I healed my childhood trauma, I uh, my relationship with uh, my mom actually improved. Plus, I found uh, as well my dad after 34 years of not seeing him, not having any, any contact. So you see, and I wouldn't be able to do that if I didn't heal myself and if I didn't forgive them and myself as well. So it never ends. It's literally never ending bloody story. And the last one of the things no one had told you about the healing, that at the end, you will be grateful. You will be grateful that uh, God, universe, whoever put you in this position and uh, to face these challenges, because without them, you wouldn't be you, you wouldn't know what you know, and you wouldn't be able to help other people, you know. I, after my healing journey, I came um, to understanding that I'm very grateful for 20 years of my endometriosis, 20 miserable years. I used to think that I wasted them, but it's actually opposite. You know, I'm very grateful for every single day with endometriosis because I know now how to help you. And I wouldn't know that if I didn't go through it myself. And remember, one day your struggle is going to be somebody else's survival guide. So very likely you will find a lot of strength in your weakest moments and in your suffering. You will find a lot of strength, you know. You will build it up. It, it will go down, but it will also come up, you know? I suffered so much with my endometriosis for 20 years and I hit this very low point. But now when I see so many girls improving their life, now when I see that I can actually help and make a difference in somebody's life, this is going up, do you know what I mean? So it, there is the balance. And at the end of the day, you will appreciate that. I know it sounds horrible now for you and you're probably not gonna agree with me, but Come back to this video after you heal and tell me if I wasn't that right. <laughs> so if you like this video, please click the like button, subscribe and share it with others because they need to know and they need to be also prepared. As always, I love you so much. Share it with others and I will see you in Friday. Bye. <laughs> I love you so much. <laughs>